Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruda, welcome to Before Your Eyes, a really rather special game indeed. So, okay, this game is about, well, your life passing before your eyes, and as a result of that, it's got a rather unique control system, which is, uh, I've got a webcam hooked up to this computer right now, and it's been calibrated to detect when I blink, because me blinking is going to be how the game is controlled. I'm going to blink to move forward in my life. So just be forewarned. I get the feeling a mechanism like this, yeah, they're going to make uh, things sad. Very sad indeed, potentially, as you find yourself unable to stop moving forward in time towards your, I assume, death. Well, hello there, stranger. Ooh. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. You remember blinking, don't you? <laughs> that thing you did 30,000 times a day? Would you do it already? My arm's getting tired. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm dead, and this is just me remembering stuff from my life. I'm not going to relive my life, and you, my friend, uh, you're the ferryman to... Uh, Wherever it is we're going. So, all right. Give him a blink. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch. Or, what's a better word? Ocean? No, mm, better word than that. Ah! A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Lay about. Oh, I become a bird. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Still, I like he's got a thesaurus. That's always a good sign. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. It could be a second, it could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now, don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. He's right. I can't hold off forever. And when there's a metronome, if you blink, I'm... that's it. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I don't know what he was saying, but I couldn't stop myself blinking. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. 
Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Okay, so there's going to be script that could theoretically keep playing. Oh, sorry. Couldn't stop. Down at the edge. Ah, I must be a kid. I'm guessing that's my mum. I'm on like a holiday or something. Mm, let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? Oh, I'm pretty small. Okay, I'm really small, as it turns out, though. I you can't see, see myself. Spiky plant over there? Spiky plant? Aha, here we go. That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Anything else I can learn? There's sunglasses, hats. My presumably mother was writing something. Nothing much else. Ooh, an airship. That's nice. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh, well. Days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now, where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Ah, I can hold things off by remembering things. Just Okay, the seagull just stole it, sorry. Yes, I'm guessing this is going to be a game about the relentless march of time and how we can't fight and how we're going to grow old and die. So that's, um, that's a little bit, uh, potentially distressing as time goes by. Sorry, I couldn't hold off any longer. Go ahead, kid. Alright, where are we? Where are we now? <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, that will really be something to see how he grows. Okay, apparently I can remember when I was one. I cannot remember when I was one, but this guy's got a good memory. Now. Okay. Little tiny piano. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? Play to time. hold things off. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Can I remember anything? Not that I can say. And now, aha! Bath time. Oh, when I was a kid, I had so many toys in the bath. I loved Sounds having 10 good, million honey. toys in the bath. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah, I worry that might have something to do with it. Okay, so Richard and Elle, my parents, and my mother wants to be Look not a writer, a musician. What do you think he's thinking about? Probably solving the problems of the universe. I'm just thinking of my bath toys instead. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily. You're right. clouds with my imaginary cloud. You know, that's cute. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Whether he's smart or not. As long as he's happy. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. But I still think he's going to be smart. I can just tell. Why is my dad so worried about whether I'm going to be smart or not? That's that's odd. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. 
Okay, so my mother's oh, career wasn't going great. Let's show our little mess of color. And I can throw. Ooh. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. Sorry, you know, my mistake. I thought it meant throw color at the thing, and then I blinked. Sorry. Where are we? Ah. Okay. What is all this? See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Ah. So my mum was telling me about my family history. God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Oh, uh oh. Hey, Benny. Uh oh. Sorry, I think I skipped some pages. Really I was meaning to blink special. at the photo. I just don't want him to get attached. Ooh. Attached her uh, to what? Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But oh, that's not gonna happen. Here, You'll stay here with us. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. Does he only have one eye, by the way? Richard. What? His cat? <laughs> yeah, I just mean, for now. Of course we're not gonna keep him. Right. I believe that. I know where this is going. For now, honey. Oh, this cat's staying. It's a good cat. Another thing I'll just say quickly. You build up a resistance to allergies over time. So what you're allergic to now, like that's why an allergy shot to give you what you're allergic to. So he's like a human allergy shot full of love with one eye. Just considering. I just know a month from now, he's going to be sleeping on my pillow and I'm not going to be breathing. Yeah, but he's purring. You can't kick him out. He's no, purring. Alright, he can sleep on my pillow. Fair? Can't keep eyes open much longer. Need kitten seat to be over. There it goes. Oh dear, the allergies were definitely a thing. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Oh, I'm being taught piano too. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? I don't, but hopefully my character does. Very good. Just one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Oh. Oh dear, sorry, might have missed something there. Blinking again. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. Oh, that's the note he passed her when they first met, I assume. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Uh, turn the page. And... God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. And we can stave off the metronome for now, at least. Where would you want to go? If you could only go to one. And Greece. Or oh, definitely Greece. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily, Mom gave you some good ones, so, you know, let's hope they balance each other out. I just picked up the Phil Hellenist or Phil Hellene achievement on Steam, which I'm very happy about, yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, things were too happy for too long. And now where's my mother gone? Okay. Yeah. What are the dates on the calendar? Why are they all marked? Wait. Oh. Wait, is that... That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Sure. But, you know, anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. She's very gifted. Richard, no one in this town knows anything. Maybe I'll just have to do it myself. Good idea. I think that settles it. But who's this mysterious woman you're talking about? I hope you're not in love with her. You know, I really was for a while, but then she revealed herself to be much stupider than I thought. Richard, what are you talking about? Oh, Al, you oblivious sponge. And, oh my goodness, we're gonna play with a cat. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. this. Ah, I'm drawing! Don't worry, I already did! Oh, thank God. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Just focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Okay, so what interview are we talking about? Has she had to, yeah, get a different job to... Ah! Oh, is she giving up her dream so that she can pay for lessons for me with more of a professional than her. Oh, I think this might be going somewhere sad, actually. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Uh-oh. Cat. Okay, time has passed because the cat is older. Guessing the cat did a bad thing. Okay, is the cat about to become the villain of the piece? Because I'm not cool with that, actually. Cat, whatever you're about to do, don't do it. Is it coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let cat no it's time to use the litter box though baby steps he's got one eye ah the hands that tells me how old i am so i must be five years old because there's uh, five hands and they said at the beginning every birthday okay i see what we're doing here got it yes lovely i mean i'll say for five years old that's not bad that's a pretty good drawing of a cat this is called a metronome we use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Okay, here we go. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. But he said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius. I haven't seen him in over ten years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. Okay, so was he just in the country they left? Except, hang on, no. Because he taught her, so... Unless she left when she was a teenager or something. Okay. Alright, what's... What's 
going on here? Hold. Hold your eyes. Or do I not know? Did I fall asleep before? I must have done. Okay. Mysterious late night phone call. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Alright, here we go. Subdivide oh. the time. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? I did my best. I'm sorry. I'm a disappointing son. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Okay. Ah, camera. Oh, my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. And... Okay, she's not turning. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Oh, the piano's all covered up by paperwork. This is going to be one of those sad stories where someone's hopes and dreams were crushed by reality in the passage of time, isn't it? Yes. Cloud? Ernie! Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Uh oh. Ernie! No! We need you! No, I'm not okay with this. God, hell, what if you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey. I'm worried too. If that cat has gone missing, I'm not Ernie. cool with this. At all. Kid. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Oh my goodness, we got uh -huh. the cat back. And that was based on... P-hole distance? Say that one more time, sweetie. P-hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something, then it's one or the other. And what was Ernie's? talking about then I'm still not understanding how you let this happen oh I my goodness know. that's adorable I didn't think about it it just it just happened you just happen to find a stray cat in the alley we keep it even though I hate cats and now it just happens to pop out five more I'm sorry I didn't realize you hated cats for a professor of signs and symbols you're really bad at reading them okay that that's funny that's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. But I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. <laughs> ah, this would be my new house, I'm guessing. We moved because there was a for sale sign up. Down here. Were you able to pick up a new book? Yes. The Manila Galleon was of particular interest. Uh, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. It's extremely expensive, right? No, no. Can't put a price on learning. Unmated. And it's stupidly big. On the plus side, I've got loop de loop on my car track and stuff, and dinosaurs and. Uh oh. What? It's another sinister night scene. Oh? What's that? Oh no. That sounds like an angry animal. Ernie! The cat better be okay. Oh no! I know, it seems impossible that Where's you the could cat? ever play something so Where's complex. Where's the cat? I blinked! 
Where's where's the cocky cat? Somebody show me the cat. Oh, just sorry. Just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Okay, that was kind of terrible, I'll admit. I'll try again. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Other hand? Oh, I've never learned to play the piano. Is that, like, common? Where you learn to do one-handed first? Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Getting the hang of it too. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. But could someone show me the cocking cat? Because I'm really worried about the cats. Okay. Two brown. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Okay, so I'm very bad at maths and stuff. I don't know how old I am, but that doesn't look like eight, nine, or ten or something. And anything else? Because seriously, I want to see the damn cat because I'm very scared that I haven't seen the cat in a while. Where's the cat? I'm really worried that something terrible happened to the cat that I didn't see outside. Like they did say, like a coyote or something. You don't play with it anymore. We're getting rid of it. Okay. I'm growing up and I'm giving away my toys. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. Oh. Okay, we're skipping forward faster now. I'm winning awards, so... Yeah, I'm actually 100%. This isn't oh. my house. It's not my house. Right. This is my house. You have five minutes to get down. Oh, new neighbor, potentially new friend who doesn't like being here. And... Okay, a bit more. Ah, so yeah, bite without stabilizers. I'm definitely a bit older now. And what about you, kid? Okay, don't mention cats. I'm still sensitive about cats. I think my cat might have been eaten. Maybe if you actually got me a playscape, I'd want to play inside. That's not fair, Chloe. You're not fair. You're not fair. You're not fair. <laughs> okay, so who's this Chloe? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. Okay, so I'm obsessed with cameras and music, but bad at maths and uh, drawing things in the right colours, which may be the symptoms of something, I'm just not 100% sure what. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. And, aha, her. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go, but um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to, but you can try. Uh, oh, nope, she was right, I missed her, Quiet, dear everyone. dear. Betty's oh. about to play for us. Ah, am I now playing it like Christmas or something? He's unbelievable. My god, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising his musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, 
It's maritime archaeology. Um, very cool. Mm. Hey, that is cool. No one really knows what it means. Mm. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party short. Um, okay, more wine? Okay, what are you talking I'll about? It's just wine. about, you know, digging up stuff under the sea. It's awesome. Do you have any idea how much cool stuff we dig out of silt underwater? It's amazing. You utter Philistines. The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in hey, you. minutes. Ah, it's glowing. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Okay. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Don't talk to this me. This is a quote. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off into space. Okay. Remember the past. Condemn to repeat it. Gotcha. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me. What did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. Can I help her? You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yeah. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If you broke we my no talking rule, but I asked you to, so I guess I'll have to let you live. Very generous. And now, on to what you've all been waiting for. Grades. Ooh. Assessments. 60. Oh, sorry. I, I was trying to, to copy that down, but ah, you don't blink at that. You just get it, then you move it. I half suspect he bought it for himself. Okay, what is this? The little guys are pretty cute though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Ah, it's like a video game, but in a... Oh, we're in the N64 era, where things are on cartridges and in boxes. Marvelous. So what else do we have by the, uh, by the way? And just use your conscience to find... Oh my goodness. It's Pokemon, but entirely sea-themed, which I'd like to think means my dad was involved because he's into maritime archaeology. Next door, but I didn't realize you guys to become friends. Oh sure, we sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thank me for hanging out with you. Yeah, my dad's That's embarrassing. A very interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Tickle Stick. Oh yeah, 100%. This is just Pokemon. And I am not bad Whoa, at drawing. That's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Not me, though. I'll actually kill you if you try to draw me. And you saw what I'm capable of in your backyard. Yeah, I'm doing it anyway. So down we go, over here, being attacked by Thingy McJibble. Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. Wow, harsh. I look so ugly. Ugh. I'll tell you what, for a kid, that is good. That's a good drawing. Anything else? No, I think that's your lot, actually. Unless... No, no, that's just Lobstar taking 24 hit points it's damage. It's called a magnet score. this then i don't know what that is it's about an hour away in a town called burton i know the change can be scary but i just want you to go in and meet the dean i spoke with you know life can take you to some incredible places if you're really really good at something it's just you've had so much trouble making friends at playco i want you at a place where people really get you Ah, but would that mean I'd be maybe leaving Chloe behind in the long run? She's not going to be happy about that. Also, like, you know, one of my predominant memories of the day was 
Ooh, video game poster, marvelous. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. Taciturn is the word I use. Taciturn. Yes. People have described me that way, if you can believe it. Oh, sorry. Couldn't hold off any longer. Sometimes it's hard to not blink. And, aha, I'm learning new stuff. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Oh, this feels like pressure to me. I'd like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Okay, this is 100%. No, I'm not going to crumple that. That would be that would be a dick move. I'm not crumpling it. But I am thinking I'm being put under unfair pressure here. Oh, now that's ludicrous pressure. Putting the days being counted down on the board by the piano. Bloody hell. Okay, we'll give it a go anyway. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Nah, I'm gonna practice, that's fair. You know, I'm gonna be fair to my mum. I'm gonna give it a go at least. Especially as I am actually, you know, rather good, as it turns out. And music scholarships are a good way to get into really good universities, so... You know what? There is good sense in this, even if I'm being put under a fair whack of pressure. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? Oh, go on, I practice for a bit. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's crying. Go talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Did I just I cause a fight out, with your parents? I'm sorry, dude. Out, but you should also cherish these moments. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it. But... Now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board, crustacean types perform well against mollusk types. So we gotta be leaning on lobster a lot more in these reefs. Sorry, sorry, couldn't hold off the blinking, but a I'm pretty sure, you know, it's just, you know, crustacean Pokemon, which is excellent. Aunt, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet. Hey, and she's Mr. Got, Kid. And yes, that's, that's a she. Look at The it. head of a crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Okay, after my dad goes to sleep, I'm gonna Ooh, well, I'm sneak out and sleep face. on the beach. Now, okay, you see, for a picture of him is ready feeling to constipated. Any of the deceased who do not pass I'll accept the invitation at the bare minimum. Sure. Sort of like me with your weekly <laughs> quizzes. Ew, why is he so, so scared of sure Okay, I'll call friend. you when I'm leaving my house. Right you better pick up my call, dude. Oh, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this. I'm going to get in Why so much trouble. 
just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Ah, my vision is very narrow right now because, uh, yeah, I'm a hyper focused because my mom's forcing me to be. This is getting, uh, this is getting not good. Yeah, I say. Now, sneaking out. If this is, oh, this is the night before. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh, that's going to be controversial. If it's the night before the thing. Oh, my mum's going to be so disappointed if I sneak out and I don't get a good night's sleep. The night before the thing. Oh. Um. Okay, my mum is putting unfair pressure on me. But. On the other Lights hand. out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Danny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. Ooh. Um. Um. No, I'm going. I'm sneaking out. Oh, my mom's going to be furious. Wow. Didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now. Okay? Chloe, out. All I need to do is just, you know, sneak out, see her, maybe get a little chaste peck on the cheek, straight back in. My mom never needs to know. You know... I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So, I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, here we go. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Okay, I think there's something over here. Okay. I can stay here for a while. Okay, and that lets me get a blink in. Please. Okay, need to focus on not blinking here. There. Alright, we're writing something. In the 
stars. What are we? To? Ah, we are writing. Stay. Stay here. Which is, I mean, sort of sweet, but also kind of terrifying, in a way. So I just... Oh, was she... Was she looking at me? Was she... She's watching me. Oh, okay, this is sweet, except, sorry, I had to blink sooner Probably didn't later. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. Okay, and I am exhausted, so okay. I may have slightly screwed this In up a bit. In your own time, Benjamin. We are very excited to hear. Can I do this anyway? I need to do this anyway. Where's the... Do I know where there's a piano? Okay, need to do this anyway. And I might have, you know, wibbly vision. I think I got this. I think I got this. Uh-oh. Oh, it's getting, it's getting wibbly. Oh, this is... Okay, okay. Oh, that was that was hard. That was hard, actually. I'm guessing that might have happened anyway because of the stress. So, My mother put me under. Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again once you've had a bit more time to practice? Yes. As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you. Okay. All right. I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it was quite the drive. Anything else? I think we're done. Except, oh, hang on, did I? No, I thought I would have a second chance there, but apparently not. Not just this second anyway, but why the notes? Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. Got anything to... Oh, something. Okay, so once again, I'm obsessed with I'm the Playtendo 64. Worried about who you're going to become. Okay, that's a lot of pressure to put on like a ten-year-old or whatever. Okay, that's that's a lot to put on me, right there, mother. We want him home from school for a while, just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny. Okay. Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay. Oh, did I? Sorry, I blinked. I didn't mean to. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? Oh, I'm guessing I do it, John, actually. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? All right, just trying to keep my eyes open. No. Can't hear a thing. I'm guessing I'm really not well. And oh, I'm back on the title screen. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, is this the? It's the same beach, the agave that we saw right at the beginning. I came back here. So this is presumably not where I live, where I grew up, instead. Unless this is a dream. Okay. This isn't video game time. 
I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Okay. Um, can I imagine or look out the window or something? And... Oh my goodness, my old bath toys! Okay. Well, that's uh, giving away the boat. The boat was important. Yes, yeah, seriously. When I was a kid, like a really young kid, I loved having like 10 million tiny plastic toys in the bath. All right. I liked having loads of tiny toys to play with in the bath. And I liked fridge magnets. I liked going into the cold utility room and playing with fridge magnets. Okay, that was important. And... Um... I seem to be having a boat-related hallucination right now. Um... Is it... Oh, hang on. The boat. It's got a screw thing. The same as... The same as the boat in the afterlife. Okay, this is... This is fine. And don't worry, game, my detection seems to be working just fine. So... Oh! I was more into drawing! I always was, but my mother wanted me to be good at music because that's what she was. Oh! Okay. There might be a happy ending after all. I found something I'm good at. Good, 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 good. Also, Klimt. Klimt is excellent. I love some Klimt. So, okay. I can enter that. And then draw it down over there. Okay, that there. That's pretty good. I was always good at art, but my mother never let me focus on it. Okay. Well, ever since he got sick, all he does is make art. Okay. What about his piano? Oh, he doesn't play much anymore. Let's see how good he does. Let's go with that for dinner. I mean, it's a let up. You know, I'm shy to it. Okay, this is nice. I'm actually going to do something I want to do. Oh, that's really good. I mean, that's like, you know, really cool shading and stuff. I'm really good at that. I mean, not me. I'm trash at drawing. But like, you know, and the Mr. kid's good. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. I really got to thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she literally just left with her dad in tears. And something over there. Ah, there's the horses. Now, where's Chloe? Right, there's the place. Oh, yeah, that was an easy victory for me right there. And... Okay, so... Oh, art school application. Okay, here we go. Time's moving on as well because, uh, yeah, Apple computers, the technology's getting smaller. So, here we go. Oh, I'm drawing myself, drawing a pair of... That's cute. That's super cute. You are cute. not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. All right. Finally... So don't just sit there slack, John. Make... You ponies! I like this guy. This guy's good. And we'll have a bowl of skulls. There we go. Lovely. Naked man with no genitalia whatsoever. Okay, I think we're going to censor very quickly. And fun. There we go. Just a quick censoring. And wait, what? What am I? Okay, how do I change the orientation? It just happened. Ah, it happens by itself. Okay, so we're... <laughs> yep, that's what I draw. That's that's what I'd put in. That's what I'd put in right there. And then it's very zany. Lovely. Very kitsch. Finally, I get to choose. Ah, different art styles. Make Lucky match. for you, the world is always in need of more. Greeting card artist. He was about to say, "Well, Lardy flipping da." Okay. I'm gonna try again now. And oh. Ooh, experimentally. There you go, Mr. Brin. And now skull over here, over the top. Feel each shape. And then like that. Oh, that should have been further down. I don't like that. And 
finally over the bottom. <laughs> you fiend. Okay, I call it Sad Clown is bad at juggling. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. And you see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. Okay, that might have been a little bit overly generous, but whatever. Oh, Flip is in a gallery or something. Oh, Flip it is! The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. God, I hate that guy. That guy's an asshole. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. All right, so far. And then right in the foreground. Benjamin, marvelous show last week. Truly That's nice. stunning. I've never been prouder. Oh, I'm guessing that's Elba. Right, I don't get a choice. I just went with Elba. Okay, I just went straight for the Elba option. Oh, no. Okay. Got to make a choice here. I mean, I think artists should be able to be paid for their work and be successful. I have got, you know, no objection here. Feeling about you. We're going to do it. All right, I'm guessing I'm going to regret it, but we're going to give it a go. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Oh, my mother's proud of me. That's nice. And... Little clink. Lovely. Now, where am I? Is this where I live now? And... Uh, oh! I went to Greece! Like we said right at the beginning. I chose between Greece and Egypt. Oh, that's adorable. We'll have, yeah, a little bit more of a realistic style on this occasion. Make sure it all matches. Don't want it to, you know, not fit together. And... Yeah, there we go. Bit of a new style for me in the background over here. There we go. Lovely. I bet I'd be in Egypt right now if I selected Egypt at the start. That's adorable. Is it, oh. Okay, what are we talking about? Ben, don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while. Uh-oh. But, really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're I'm answering anyway. An Answer anyway. Answer anyway. Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep painting, keep striving. You make that work of true genius. I can just tell you're almost there. So, I'm going to hang up the phone now. Okay, but I'm guessing bad things that's happening enough now. Me. Oh. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my oh. wife was most proud of. Her. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? You ready to come up here? Okay, you can't just toss my mother's funeral at me like this game. It's not cool. Um. Go on, B. Say something. Oh, saying something was never what I was good at, though. wrong why aren't you talking 
because I've just become deeply aware about time and how it, you know, can't be stopped hey, and etc. Guess who's calling? Again? Look, you know, I talk to big, important people. People who could change your life every day. What the hell am I supposed to say? What do you want me to say? That I haven't heard from my star client in six months? This is getting ridiculous. You've got to get it together. Okay, not cool, Elba. Not flipping cool. I'm clearly not going through a good time right now. And honestly, that's pretty good anyway. Hey. Benny. Guess who's calling? Well, here's the call. We're finished. We're done so kaput. It's over. Would you shut the hell up, Tabitha? I'm trying to fire a client in here. Who? Some washed up stick up his ass, too good to sell brick. Probably isn't even listening to this message, but you know, Mama's gotta put her rage somewhere. Oh shoot it. Am I still on? <laughs> oh, Benny, love you lots. Mwah. Okay, so yeah, really not having a good few months right now, I think. Just calling to tell you, I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. I mean, that's fair. You know... If you lost someone, change of scenery, being in the place where they were, that's, that's fair. You know, I could never be angry at someone for doing that. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> oh God, it's the boat. Uh, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> Well, I'm just so happy that you did. Oh, that she was the last time I ever to talked to her. Your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. Oh, bloody hell. That was the last time I ever spoke to her. What's that? That's so fascinating, son. The music. Okay. Okay. Am I going to be remembering the piano and painting, painting that potentially? Okay. No. Is that the beach from the beginning, perhaps? Yeah. Seashells from the very beginning. And then there she is. And. Okay, shouldn't have gone for that one. That wasn't really a happy memory for her, in a way. Just... I don't want that to be. Over here, facing... Yeah, when it faces there. That's the one. Okay. Look. <laughs> Standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. Sorry, I'm getting a bit teary at the moment. So the blinking is going to accelerate. Because that, that one, that bit just got to me a bit, actually. So, okay, the blinking is now going to accelerate. Because I'm getting teary-eyed. And I think the game knows that was a possibility. So, okay. Is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. My God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. 
I mean, if you were down for that. Oh, Chloe. Oh, absolutely. And it's actually the uh, all the bits of art I made. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't even know you'd make your own art in this, but that's adorable. I just that's can't adorable. believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? God, you were such a little jerk back then. Hey, it was really drawing, good. You know? And we were having a lovely time oh, playing mom. fake Pokemon. I always heard her playing piano from next door. But I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. And I was able to, uh, yeah, elevate her music so people actually heard it as she passed. Hey, so, not to be forward... But uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Oh, yeah. Chloe, no trouble at all. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh. Wait, what? Now would you look at that? Oh, I'm back. <laughs> not believe my luck. Wait, what? What? What happened to me? What happened to Chloe? Was I hit by a bus as I was leaving the art gallery? You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition if you catch my drift <laughs> forget about it all right here we go gatekeeper before you stands the soul of a great man now would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one okay definitely lonely from what we saw his childhood was a lonely one, growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? Oh, she was a composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? Good to be honest, it was demanding. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? Now be honest here. Bit of both, but I guess, you know, based Don't on what we saw at the end, uh, the latter might have been more important. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? 
See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum dolls, you lucky fowls. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <clears throat> You're a flea-bitten sap, you know that? Uh-oh, what? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's happening? Where am I? Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Okay. Yeah, the first piece of my mother's music in the seagull's mouth, absolutely. Okay. Not this. All right, keep skipping forward. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Yeah, did that too. Fine. Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't oh. found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? I know, but I've got the like kitten back now. now. Oh, here we go. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? What phone call? open something about her dad there's only so many things to pick up on
I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, what is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. Okay, that doesn't make me a liar. That's not my fault. Oh, here we go. Oh. I've got a really bad feeling about the cats. What? Oh, I think this is how the cat dies, and I'm not sure I want to see this. What? Coyotes or foxes or something? And I'm not sure I want to see it, to be honest. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. I wouldn't say that. I was kind of pushed into it by my mother. Not really sure that was, you know, a thing I really had much of a good? say in, to be honest. Here we go. Next one. In the corridor. So last time, I couldn't hear this. I wasn't sure what it was. Oh, I don't want to see this, apparently. I'm resisting. I need to hear what they're saying. Really try to recall it. Oh, hang on. If I... If I close my eyes... I mean, what's the point? Aha! If I close my eyes, the game knows, and I can hear. What do you, what do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. That's why I've got my eyes closed. Because I was pretending to be asleep and I overheard... Again, this isn't really a lie on my part, it's just my mother being not necessarily the best person. I'm guessing I can open my eyes now, by the way. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. All right, what's the final twist in the tale, then? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Okay, the day I discovered or rediscovered uh, art. And, oh! Try writing with it. Mom, for the last time, you cannot force me to like things. You have to let me discover my own stuff. You know this. So, okay. Oh, okay. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Oh, she's not forcing me to write. I'm... Possibly I literally don't speak at all. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I was using this to communicate. She was trying to find a way for me to communicate. Exactly. It was very artsy. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Story of who you're going to become, okay? All right. The Great Life of Benjamin Bren. And his childhood was a lonely one and... Okay, this is precisely what the wolf was saying. Though yeah, it doesn't go any further than the accountants. Man, this is wild. 
Oh, this is new. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. I respect it, I do. Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know, I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's not entirely flattering to you. Oh? Go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I, th I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child isolated seaside town. I mean, I mean, I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. I like my dad. He's supportive without putting pressure on me. He's great. And then... Or do we have the the rest of it by any chance? And oh, okay, he was a loser. He was the worst brain to ever live. Oh, okay, the story's getting a bit more morose in some ways. Actually, he didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. Okay, things getting a bit red and sinister, but I know I didn't die because you know I had unless that's just a figment of my imagination okay was everything after the illness just made up because I don't know oh blimey okay things are a bit wibbly there's a lot of wibbly going on right now um so that's not good okay Um... Benny! Benny! Ben! Oh God! Can you hear me? Richard! Richard, get up! I think I'm oh, having a on. bad thing happen. I think he's unconscious. Call the paramedics now. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. Okay, something bad definitely, okay. definitely okay. happened. Okay. Really wrong in that year. Like, super wrong, actually. Way wronger than I originally thought. Oh, I need to close my eyes. So, if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Uh, been a rough one. Okay, so I was on morphine or something. Can I open my eyes? Yep, okay. And, aha! Pain relief that gets me back to reality a bit. And then I 
I have many, many, many pills. All the pills. Oh, hang on, more yats. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. My dad's the real star of the show, isn't he? He actually had the back of his family. Supportive, but never pressuring. Like my dad, Richard's a star. Still not doing well, mind. Maybe a bit of pain relief if you'd be so kind. There we go. Sandwich, first aid pills, nice glass of juice, lovely. And oh! Wait, what? Well, that's that's my emotions done for the day. Okay, the cat came back. What are you doing now? Who's gonna make you sick? Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Sorry, I couldn't stop myself blinking there because the cat came back and I'm now crying. Um, okay. Right, that's, that, that, that was a lot right there. She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Okay, so I just didn't tell my friend what was going on. So was she right or wrong to not visit? I mean, I feel like she could have come by and said hello in the intervening year, perhaps. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that, but. Hey, what are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Look, I, I will get you in a second. I'm imagining... I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? All right. I'm willing to do that. That's fair. Let her leave. Wait for the door to close. Is the door closed? That seems fair. Okay. Open my eyes. Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first love. Love Chloe. Aww. Though, you know, I was still suffering from whatever the hell that is, which is not great. Bit of pain relief, bit of listening in. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. 
Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. Okay, so my mother was doing a bit of writing in the meantime, and time just sort of uh, went by. Oh! Did I just turn down... Am I refusing my medicine at this point? Oh, I think I started to build up a tolerance. Okay. Um, okay, things things are going bad, actually. Oh, things are getting really bad, actually. Um, guys, I'm not doing so hot. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be my mother, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I hadn't realized. The landscape shifts every time I... Every time I blink. Okay, so that all that all dies is. and then fresh grows in its place. Wish me luck. Oh my goodness. Gatekeeper! It's a Before you cat. sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. Okay. So what was the truth? You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a sm small town by the sea. His mother was a composer or as that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him, but then when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry. That he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was, he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them of exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> Wow. 
Why is he smiling like that? It must be somewhere that he likes. Okay, so that hit me, um, quite a bit harder than I was expecting right there. Pretty much from the moment the thought lost cat returned and the old cat came back and uh, yeah, that was, that was me gone. That was me emotionally gone. I need to go and have a cup of tea and hug Claire and hug Tabby because seriously that was, uh, that was more than I was expecting. So okay, everything after the year in which I got sick was just the story. That was not real, which is why it skipped forward so fast, because it was a story written by a child. So, I'm fine. I'm gonna go have a cup of tea. This is before your eyes. It was... It was bloody hell. That, that hit me hard. That hit me harder than... I can't think of a game that's hit me harder emotionally than that. So, I mean, well done. Well done, game. If you want to just break my heart, you did it. Congrats. 10 out of 10. Link in the description below. What an experience. Bloody hell. And obviously, there's all sorts of bits I missed because I blinked at the wrong time or couldn't keep my eyes open. So, if you want to get the full story, get all the bits I missed, well worth a look I'd say. This game is a very cheap patch. It's not an expensive game at all. So, honestly, yeah, I'd recommend it. This has been... Wonderful seems like the wrong sort of word to say, but still, it does what it wants to do. What more can you ask for? It's always nice to be, you know, taken by surprise by a game. Long may that continue. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Before Your Eyes. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Claire, show off what the buttered packaging does. That's amazing! 25, 50, 100, and then 110 grams! If you need to grams. the butter, you just fold the packaging onto the butter and it... I... That's amazing! <laughs> That's such a good idea! See, How long has the butter been doing this? Forever. <laughs>